Hey boys and girls, this is Deliman SC, and I have here my HP TM2. Uh, to be exact, HP TM2 10079CL Hackintosh OSX Lion tablet. I'm just going to give you guys a little run through here. Um, basically, I'm running. Um, what am I running? Oh, I at cost Lion 2 updated to uh, 10.73 via software update. And uh, while it's booting up, basically, I'll give you a little background. The TM2 came from uh, Sam's Club, great place to uh, bargain shop, especially the little rack near the side computer section. They have uh, some that are, uh, they call out of box sales that people return and you can get for a great price. Or even uh, if you find a display model that you know for a fact uh, there's a new one coming out, um, the guys there probably do too. So uh, if you mention it to them, uh, what's the, you know, I want to buy a computer, is there any way I can buy this one here? If you notice, this one has three buttons missing because it was a display model. So uh, I offered him 200 and he said he wanted 250 and I think it retailed for six something. So for 250 I thought it was a pretty good deal. And the keys I actually saw at my school, so I might actually swipe a few keys. They use these same computers in, the, uh, in one of our computer labs for the, uh, for the nursing students. But uh, I didn't say that. All right, so everything booted up fine. It wasn't that quick of a boot. Um, as you can see, the Wi-Fi is working fine. Uh, and as far as the Wi-Fi, um, there is a BIOS lock on the HP uh, TM2 models. So I went to um, BIOSmod.com and looked around, and they had a BIOS. Um, I think it's called Insane BIOS for this particular version, and it worked quite well. Um, also, I have uh, a Rocketfish Bluetooth adapter, which is helping my uh, little Mac mouse here. And basically, you can see I have the OSX Mountain Lion um, wallpaper, but it is Mac OS Lion 10.7.3. And sorry for the home screen clutter, but. Um, Mouse works fine too, so we go with the mouse. Uh, as you can see, jogging the uh, the uh, taskbar here, the icons flow pretty nicely. Not you know, not too much lag, not too choppy. Uh, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. Like I said, had a BIOS lock on the card, um, so with the BIOS mod, I was able to have the machine accept other uh, Wi-Fi cards and it just so happened the Wi-Fi card I chose was one that I had laying around which was a uh, Broadcom 4313 I believe full size so I might show you that after the um, after I show you this I had to uh, make some modifications to the physical hardware itself to allow for the for that, uh, for that modification and let's see here oh, that's a lot of you sorry Hmm, a little better, okay. Not perfect. But either way, you see uh, the volume. Works fine. Trackpad. Works good. Uh, Bluetooth is paired. Um, I use the keyboard a lot of times. Because, uh... One thing that Mac has yet to release, which, um, where is my damn keyboard selector? Anyway, uh, one thing Mac has yet to release is the Mac tablet. Um, they release iPads and iPods and those other crap, but they've yet to release a full Mac OS uh, tablet with touchscreen and uh, input capabilities running Mac OS X, um, which Quite literally, I think people would buy um, as soon as they release it, so I'm not really sure what they're waiting on. I guess I'm going to sell as much of the other crap as they can. But, um, so, anyway, here's my keyboard.
and keyboard works great because dun dun dun, dun it's 100%, well not 100%, as you see it's centered you can see it's centered right in the middle but as you get closer to the edges you can see how it's it veers off though it does work um, pretty functional and actually once you start using it, I mean you get pretty used to the fact that it's just a little off and you just accommodate uh, you accommodate for it um, I'm trying to go about this Mac and you can sort of see, sorry it's so damn blurry for this an iPhone supposed to be oh oh damn I kind of want to reshoot the video on that now anyway uh, you can see what it's saying uh, 1.3 um, gigahertz Intel Core 2 uh, 4 gigs so it's reading that right more info and and to get to read that I um, under the BIOS mod you can do um, under uh, one of the programs in here which I'll show you um, Champion or something like that you can change the the SM BIOS to, um, I did it as a MacBook Air 1.1 and also found that it works with a MacBook Air um, 4.1 pretty well too and I'll go to uh, displays, it's picking up my Intel display it's picking up the Intel display well it was earlier, I think because I took the hard drive out and I put it in another computer and now I'll put it back in this one, it's not but it was reading uh, Intel um, 31 100 X graphics, and I'm sure I can go back here and system reports. And you can see MacBook Air Cordeaux uh, displays, it is showing BPU built in Intel. Yeah, okay, it's showing it's recognizing, but it's just not um, for a lot of programs, it's not really recognizing it like. Um, uh, well, we'll see. I'll show you. Uh, da -da -da. Put that baby out. Close that baby out. And one cool function that's built into Mac OS, which nobody really notices or knows much about, is there's an actual uh, hand recognition program built in. Um, I guess it's still in beta, but I've seen it even on Mac OS Tiger. And Tiger can run some pretty damn... some pretty damn tablets pretty well. Um, some of the older tablets you can find on eBay or uh, uh, Craigslist for maybe 100, 150 or can run Mac OS Tiger pretty well uh, with a stylus. Surprisingly well more so than um, some of the newer ones. So here's Ink. Uh, Ink is a program I was talking about. And here you go. And hand recognition, hand recognition is off now so we're going to turn hand recognition on. Okay, so now ink is on. It's like you have to install a driver. A lot of times, um, this here, particularly one I think, is a eGalax, and eGalax has their own driver from their website. And for the Wacom um, input, uh, there's a program I'm sure you can uh, Google about that has various ones. Uh, Tablet Magic, I believe. And da -da -da. so now, once we do that, we're going to show the ink and the menu bar. And so the ink is in menu bar, and we're gonna write anywhere. So now, as you see, this happens. And if I were to have an input spot, so we'll try that baby out. Um, let's try surfing the web here. And so you see the tablet works. We'll see how it functions as far as input recognition. Well, accidentally he did FaceTime, but so now you can see if FaceTime works. Now recognize the camera, you can see the light. Now what's funny is half the time, I think it's almost depending on my internet connection, to tell you the truth. Um, sometimes I can access Facebook, you can sign, I'm not Facebook, but FaceTime, sign right in. And other times it'll get to the final point of signing in, it'll say, can't contact server. Which is, I think, the problem, is, the problem with the BIOS, perhaps. But as you can see, it recognizes the camera and everything, so it, if you're able to sign on to the, the server, I mean, it would function perfectly. And I've used it before, and I've actually used um, iMessage. I think it's still on here, um, iMessage to, um, as well. Um, anyway, tablet input. Let's see. Alrighty then. 
now, if this isn't the shit, I mean, look at this. You got a freaking Mac tablet, bro. And the hand recognition, as far as the actual touch recognition, as you see, it recognizes like a right, like you can it recognize touch. It doesn't actually recognize where you're at. But with the stylus, uh, it'll follow it. So, let's see what we have here. Uh, CNN. Right here. So you can highlight that. No, damn it. Even I'm not real good at it. <coughs> Alright, we'll try this. Uh, keyboard. Damn it, that's why it's coming. Kind of well, how about this? We'll try that. You can do a little note. Do it slowly so it won't recognize the... Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. Here's Mac. Tablet. Well, okay, yeah, there, there's some hair and record edition right there. Mac. Tablet. Well, not really. But you get the idea. And if anybody has any ideas to make it perfect, let me know, please. But anyway, there's a video. Thanks a lot for watching. Post any comments or if you have any way to maybe. Oh, let me show you this right here. If anyone knows how to possibly get the uh, WAN activated, that'd be awesome. So it has a uh, WWAN or a SIM card slot. Um, I think uh, ver other versions of it come with a, a SIM card, uh, mobile network uh, PCI thing there. So I've tried putting um, different things in there, flash drives uh, from Mac and other stuff, and I couldn't get them to recognize it. Um, and no, not just because it's a different format, I know that. But, let's see. This is my special tool. Um, very expensive. Um, very customized. I don't know what's on the end there. And, uh, let's see. Excuse me here. Maybe I should have unscrewed that, but basically... Well, damn it. Wait one second. Now, if you're scared about screwing up your notebook, I wouldn't suggest this. If it's your only device, but um, I get bored, so and this is what I did. And I'm, okay. So, sorry about that. Now you see the RAM, and you see my card here. Um, the card, uh, normally it's a PCI Mini but I basically chopped off a piece of the interior which hopefully wasn't too necessary and uh, I let it flow loose, I didn't try to stick it to the back it's, you know, it can move, you know, if it needs to, so it's not that big of a deal, it can give and it works perfect, you know and uh, there is the Mac tablet and I probably should spend more time on my Mac or Mac Windows and uh, try some more editing, video editing, so this video wasn't so shitty, but uh it is what it is. Just to show you um, what how the video is not quite working in some ways. Um, it's working great um, in different programs like Word. You know, you can make Word documents. Uh, it works perfect. It looks fine. Um, you know, you can uh, edit and you know document.